Hey everyone, so I'm back with video 10 of the 31 video challenge. Um, so uh, my last video was a little bit more just kind of, um, you know, maintenance work. I needed to uh, get caught up on my emails and uh, upload some pictures to my blog of some of the projects that I've done recently. And uh, so I got that done and I uh, had some time to work on a project a little bit more in depth. So today's project is um, has a little bit more to it than uh, some of my prior cards uh, this past week. Um, this is a 5x5 five five easel card. Um, I love making easel cards. They, um, you know, you can really do a lot with the front and then there's just that element of surprise when you, when you pop it up and, uh, you know, and, and you can actually stand it up and then still read the sentiment and, you know, all that kind of thing. I really like easel cards. I think they're a lot of fun to make. So, um, what I used for it, the papers are from Basic Gray. Um, it's from the Olivia collection. Um... So it's kind of hard to see. I kind of I layered um, a pattern uh, piece on the background, and then I took some of this kind of aqua color. I punched the edges with um, this Martha Stewart Deco uh, punch and uh, and corner punch, and uh, and that actually kind of determined the size of my card because uh, you know, you kind of have to stick to certain measurements in order for the punches to 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 come out right. Um, and one of the recommended sizes is, is five inches. So I just decided to go with a five by five, five by five card. So um, it is a little bit bigger than a normal A2. Um, so you would need a larger envelope to mail it. It is a square card too. So if you put it in a square envelope, it doesn't need extra postage. But you could put it in like a five by seven, a side, you know, an envelope for a five by seven card, and then you know, and it would be fine. Um, it doesn't. I mean, it's got a lot of things on it, but it's not too high in terms of dimension. So I don't think mailing would be too much of an issue either. So, um, so I've got the base layers uh, here with this basic gray paper. Um, this is this this piece here is also from basic gray from the same collection, and um, the stamps, uh, this one and the sentiment are from Rubbernecker. Um, I got them a while ago. I did a haul video on these stamps before, um, and I've had a lot of fun with the ladies um, practicing Copic coloring, but I haven't really incorporated them a lot into um, projects yet so this was a good chance to finally do that so this is uh, this is Jean um, and I loved their sentiments they've got some really cute uh, sentiments in there so I picked you know I'd gotten a few of the sentiments and I thought that um, I thought that these two worked really well together she's just she's just kind of feisty and I, I love that about the ladies from these collections so um, <clears throat> so I colored her with Copics uh, very, various shades of grays and pinks, um, and again, that's kind of playing off of the uh, the color scheme from the Olivia collection. And then um, I stamped the sentiment with uh, charcoal uh, chalk ink, and then I just used my distressing tool from Stampin' Up and uh, roughed up the edges then, and then brushed over the edges with some weathered wood uh, distressing, um, just to uh, add a little touch of color here to the edges. Um, use some flowers from my paper collection, or excuse me, from my flower collection as well as this leaf. Uh, kind of let it curl up a little bit. And then I took this key, um, this is from that um, girls paper reset that I showed earlier. So the key's right there. Um, I was hoping to use the ruler, but I just couldn't fit it in a way that didn't look, I don't know, look like too much. So it will just have to appear in a, in a later, in a later one. So I stamped this with embossing ink and then uh, embossed it with silver, cut it out, and attached it in the corner. So that's the front of the card, and then inside, let me just pop this up here, it is just a really, sent uh, because the main sentiment's on the front, so I just kept this really simple, just use this happy birthday sentiment. Uh, this is from the messages with, messages from mom, set from Stampin' Up. And then um, I had some scraps left over, so I took those and then used again that deco punch and then uh, just a strip of the background paper and that's the um, that's the prop to hold the card up. So it just sits like that. Anyway, I uh, had a lot of fun making this card. I uh, hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you guys soon with uh, the next video in the series.